what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in brackets in this video we're going to talk about three more elements that actually help us to work with our text so let's say in the bottom of my web page that i'm going to create i would want to add my contact information right so i could add something like this over here and then i would write i don't know jco at hotmail.com dot com and then let's say i'm gonna create a another paragraph over here and in this paragraph i'm just gonna say that my address let's say it's gonna be 6000 west montrose chicago uh, illinois and let's do this one like that and then i don't know six zero seven three four three something like this right that's my zip code but we have a address element that actually allows us format a little bit nicer right so we type over here the element and the element we want to use is address and i close it out over here and what i would want to do is take these two paragraphs over here and then i would cut them and then i would paste them over here but the problem is that you can see that i actually a pasted right away a body element with it so you can see the two things are happening live preview is right away telling me that i made a mistake and it's on line 11 and it's also not displaying anything because there's something wrong and that's the nice thing about brackets is that it right away catches your mistakes you know otherwise we would save this file then we would go back to our file with the browser and we would try to open the page but we would have it blank right so that's the nice things about brackets is that any mistake what you make in html it right away catches and it actually helps you to avoid it right away so I'm just going to cut this out and you can see that I it, it is displaying right now. So I'm going to paste this back in here. And now we have a my address over here written like this. And now we could use my inserted and deleted elements, right? So let's say that I would want to create something like a different street. Let's say that I'm living right now in different street, right? So what I could do is take this Montrose, cut it out and put it in here. And you can see that right away it works as it's being crossed off, right? Or I could work that, let's say, instead of Montrose, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be, it's going to be Cicero. So I can write Cicero. And in here, what I would do is I would put it in uh, inserted element. So I would write ints over here. And then I'm going to cut this scissor over here, cut it over here, and paste it over here. So now uh, you can see that it's underlined over here, the scissor in Chicago. Now the thing is, you will be doing all of this once you're doing with CSS. I'm just showing you that if you are really one, you can start doing something with just HTML. However, all of these things will do with CSS. That's going to be the styling. However, HTML does provide some basic uh, elements that actually help you work with the text this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video